Well, this Saturday marks a significant anniversary, but it's not one for celebrating. On November 2nd, 20 years ago, the worst mass shooting in Hawaii's modern history happened. This morning, we look back on a day that changed Hawaii forever. Somebody's got a gun. Some guys are down. They did. Oh, this is too close. November 2nd, 1999. Byron Uesugi entered the Xerox building on Nimitz Highway. Somebody's got a gun. Has been shooting people up in the building. Okay, the, inside the building? Yeah, inside the building. Okay. Oh, and you need the cops for them now. Okay. The Xerox service technician shot seven of his co-workers before quietly taking off. You gotta get there right away. Okay, anybody hurt? Yeah. Uh, some of the guys say some guys are down. They're dead. Another horrified caller phones 911. I see two people on the next row. Okay, are they moving or breathing? Uh, no, they Is it safe for you to go near them? Are you sure that the shooter is gone? Yeah. Once again, seven people are confirmed dead. Uh, we understand that uh, police are searching for 40-year-old Brian Uesugi. We understand that the special services of the SWAT team has made its way to downtown Honolulu in search of the suspect. And from what we understand, uh, all the employees said Brian was a very, is a very soft-spoken guy, very quiet, very, says very little of anything, and uh, there was no indication that he was upset. Uh, they saw him this morning, and he walked upstairs, did something, and walked right out. Seven men lost their lives that day. Ford Kanahira, Ronald Kataoka, Ronald Koamai, Melvin Lee, Peter Mark, John Sakamoto, and Jason Balatiko. You start thinking about your life and everything, you know, and your uh, co-workers' welfare, you know, because you start calling out, hey, where's that, you know, where's so-and-so, where is he at? You know, but yeah, I mean, you would never think it would happen, you know, at your workplace. I mean, you hear it all around, but no, this was too close. Way too close. And tonight on the KHUN2 News at 9, Bridget Namata revisits what happened that day, talking to the people directly involved. That includes the woman who was able to get Uesugi to surrender and a mother still reeling today from the loss of her son 20 years ago. That's tonight on the KHUN2 News at 9. And as that Xerox employee was saying, you never thought something like that could happen in Hawaii. So unfortunately, that's why you remember it, because you realize it could happen in our own backyard. I remember that because one of my friends, she was actually working at Xerox, and it was one of those days where you call and you're like, are you okay? And she was okay, thankfully. Yeah.